Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Monday's story is hacktivists exposing cheaters. If you're the type of person that's going online looking for extramarital affairs, well, first of all, shame on you. But second of all, you might want to start sweating because some hacktivists are threatening to dox you. This comes from a story put out by Brian Krebs of Krebs on Security, who has said that attackers have breached Ashley Madison's website and stole and leaked a ton of customer information. This includes things like your full name, your credit card information, compromising pictures and fantasies and all kinds of stuff like that. So if you haven't heard of Ashley Madison, by the way, it's a site that's designed to help married folks find affairs. So kind of a gross site. And the group that runs it runs a number of other kind of unsavory sites as well. The attack was put off by a group that calls themselves the Impact Team. And they released a messenger manifesto basically threatening the group that runs this site, saying that if you don't shut down this site and another site that's kind of dedicated to helping rich folks find uh, uh, rendezvous with women, if you don't shut down both those sites, they're going to expose all the customer data they've stolen. And according to Ashley Madison, they have over 37 million users, or at least folks that have checked up on this site. Now let's talk about this a bit. No matter what you feel about Ashley Madison's site, personally I think it's kind of a gross, distasteful site, the truth is we shouldn't condone this sort of Robin Hood cyber vigilantism. You know, even though this is a bad site, letting people hack and steal data is, is bad. The ends don't justify the means, even if uh, you might agree with what this particular hacker group is doing in this case. You know, personally, I think any website whose tagline is life is short, have an affair, doesn't really deserve success. Nonetheless, I don't think that condones criminal hackers actually stealing information. So finally, what's a practical takeaway concerning this breach? And I'll actually share a really simple security tip that I actually give kids when I talk about cybersecurity. And that is don't post anything online you don't want your grandmother to see. You know, no matter how private you think a social network is and how much you think you might be protecting your data or only sharing it with a limited group of people, as soon as you share something digitally, there's a chance that it's going to live forever and eventually be exposed to the world. So anybody that thinks they can go on and anonymously cheat by sending private messages and things like that really is going to be in for a rude awakening when situations like this happen, when the site gets hijacked and all that information goes public. So as you're doing stuff online, just make sure if you're going to a social network or whatever, any picture, anything you type, assume that it's going to live on the internet forever and think about what your grandma would think if they ever saw that information. Finally, before I end today's show, besides this story, Microsoft also released an emergency security update fixing a very serious vulnerability in a font driver that attackers could be exploiting publicly. So if you're a Microsoft Windows administrator, go patch that vulnerability as soon as you can. Anyways, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.